Okay, blue-red. It's probably that ramp deck. So I should probably try to move kind of quickly. Um, should I keep two of these? Let's just keep one. Okay, that's kind of good to have a turn one. Alright, so let's ink this guy. Don't think I'll make much use of him just yet. Okay. Interesting. Um, so this actually kind of trades for free almost. I guess I'll ink one of these. Do I still quest? I guess I have no reason to quest for now. This guy can't quest back at me. Ursula. Hmm. This might be kind of an issue. Because I quest here, he just discards a, a card. Then it'll still be ready to kill the Ursula. So I think I want to quest with both of these at the same time. So at least the Felicia can't, can't kill both of them. Unless there's two Felicias. Alright, uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll draw. Okay. I don't need two of these. Let's take a Merlin Rabbit. One Felicia will kill the Ursula. I still have no reason to quest with these guys. Next turn, I think I'll play double Ursula. Okay, that might change my play, though. The Hiram. Yeah, I think the Hiram changes my play. Because I do want to kick Cloud Kicker, the, the Hiram. And I will quest with just this guy, so if Felicia hits him. And then I will ink this and take a look at his hand. Okay, get rid of that. Felicia's did slow me down some though. So now I can actually quest. So I'm gonna play this in case he top decks a um in case he top decks the the board clear. Um let's see. I'm gonna ink this. I'll play one curse mer merfolk. I'll move this guy over. Actually, I should have moved Ursula, I think. Just because she has slightly more HP. Okay. No, oh, Scar clears everything. Okay. 
and he should punch the Queen's Castle. There he goes. Okay. Um... I think I play this. Then I ink this. Then I play these two. Okay. So. And then do I quest with the curse with the Merfolk? Scar's just gonna kill it anyway. Yeah, let's quest. May as well. Some good, um, some good scar value. Okay. Um, all right, this mother knows best. Do it on the Jafar. I should have actually quested and, and drawn. Let's actually draw with this. I'll play these two. Yeah, still nothing. Okay. Um, do I trade the Merlin? I think I just quest with the Merlin and not quest with Ursula. Scar will probably trade into the Merlin anyway. Another Felicia. So, I think I quest and draw with this first. Then, Merlin Rabbit. Mm. Yeah, sure. Let's Madam Mim the, the rabbit. I do need cards in my hand. And I will quest with both of these. Don't think I'll get the opportunity to um, play the Queen's Castle, but I don't think that means I should ink it. Hey Lucas, how are you doing? It's been a while. How's life? Okay, he plays Madame Medusa. Alright. I knew he had that. Because I saw his hand earlier. Mm. Let's play this. Don't have a reason to play Queen's Castle. Okay. Might be able to get away with it. This guy does quest for a lot, though, but he is behind. Uh, let's draw with this first. Doing well chilling at the moment before work. Oh, nice. Um, so I think I will actually ink a Queen's Castle. Then I'll start with a Merlin Rabbit. Hmm. I'll play these two, maybe? Instead of I was planning on playing the Merlin Goat, but um Wait, I could have um No I couldn't. Alright, let's play these two to threaten lethal. 
can do some shenanigans with um, Merlin Goat, Mother Knows Best. Alright, he conceded. I feel like I could have played that match better, though. So what you're listening to is um, Avatar Lo-Fi. You'll see it in my description. Um, it belongs to someone called uh, Simon Gross. And uh, he makes very good lo-fi. Um, let's see. Which one should I ink? Definitely don't want to ink this one. I guess I will ink the... the followers? Mm, not sure. Merlin Crab might come useful. I guess I'll ink the Madame Mim. Okay. Captain Hook. Alright. So I'll ink this. Quest with the Cursed Merfolk. Then I'll bounce it back so they don't get killed. Then he should not quest with the Captain Hook. Okay, there's Mr. Shmee. Um. Yeah, link this. And then play the Ursula. I don't think I quest with Madame Mim, because then just Captain Hook just punches into it. Um, but it would mean that he doesn't have a captain in play anymore. It's not that useful, though. I'll just keep the Madame Mim unexerted. Okay. Alright, so... We're gonna sing. Twice. That's so useful. Um, she's exerted, so I can just bounce her back with the, uh, Madame Mim here. And then I'll ink this, I guess? So I can play Rafiki. And I'm not gonna quest with the Madame Mim still. He has a whole new world. Shoot. Alright. Well, I do have this for next time he plays a whole new world. Um, maybe a Kid Cloud Kicker? For one of the Captain Hooks? It is a little bit better for my curve. I could also just play Queen's Castle, which would be a little bit weird. Yeah, it would be a little weird. Alright, let's do this. I'll play a Flynn Rider. And then Ink... Ink Tinkerbell? Yeah, let's Ink Tinkerbell. Play this guy. Bounce back to Captain Hook. And then quest with these two. And then Captain Hook will trade into the Madame Mim, which I guess is fine. So he's emptying his hand. I should check for another whole new world. Yeah, I'm gonna check for no another whole new world. There it is. Let's get rid of that. 
Now that he's exerted. Um, quest with Flynn Rider, maybe? Don't know how I feel about that. Let's ink the Merlin and just play a, a rabbit. A Merlin rabbit. I guess I will quest with Flynn. I might compel him to empty his hand somewhere. Oh, he had grab your swords. That was a huge top deck. Grab your swords with a very, very big top deck. Um, hmm. I guess I can punch, punch into one of the Mr. Smees. Let's start with that. I'll draw first. Okay. I do want to bounce back this beast. Otherwise, it'll just draw cards. I do kind of want to sing with... be able to sing it, but, um... Don't know if I'll be able to. Like, I suppose I could play Merlin Go into Ursula. And then sing it after. Mm -hmm. Alright, I guess I'll do that. It does mean he gets, to he gets to draw with the beast, though. But he'll just replay the beast the next turn, anyway. Okay. Ooh, I'm in a lot of trouble. Yeah, I'm in a lot of trouble here. Anyway. Uh, yeah, we'll bounce back the Gaston, even though it draws some cards. Uh, who do I hit with the Merlin? I guess this guy. Mm. Can I afford to play Queen's Castle? Alright, let's play Merlin first. Cloud Kicker. It does bounce back the Cogsworth, right? Oh, yeah, he, I guess he can't be chosen, so. So, given that he can't be chosen, I'll make this trade. Ink this, and then play the Queen's Castle. I am pretty much in the back foot here. He has so much ink to work with. GG. Don't think this deck comes back from that. Um, we can try, I guess. Mm, this quest for three, this quest for two. Even then, it's not going to be enough. This guy doesn't die to, to anything. So even if I punch here, Rabbit survives. Yeah, so it is GG. Alright. 
Okay, purple red. Um Get rid of this. I guess I'll keep all this. Let's get rid of the no, I'll even keep that. Pretty happy with all this. Uh, let's see. We'll ink the Rafiki. We'll see if he has a turn one. If he has a turn one card, then I'll just quest with this and then play Madame Mim. If he just passes, then I'll play the Flynn, Flynn Rider. Okay. Um. Yeah, I think I'm just going to do this. And then ink the Flynn. And then just play the Madame Mim. than Madame Mim, right? Yep. Not bad. Uh, let's ink the crab. And I guess we'll just play Ursula. I'll even quest with this Madame Mim. Because he might have Pinocchio anyway. And if he has Pinocchio, this Madame Mim will crash into the Ursula. I don't mind if he makes this trade. So we'll see if he runs Pinocchio. It's gotten pretty popular to run Pinocchio to exert Ursula, so... Maleficent. Usually this is on aggro lists. So could this be an aggro? It would be an aggro deck that runs Rafiki. It's kind of interesting, I guess. I guess he's deciding whether to make this trade or not. If I was him, I probably wouldn't. Okay. Um... Do I just run out the Queen's Castle? Hmm. Let's play the Queen's Castle, actually. It is kind of awkward for him. He needs a... He needs a Madame Mim Fox. Punches with the Rafiki. I wonder if he's scared to quest with the Maleficent. Okay, he's not. He shouldn't be. Okay. Um, well, I don't have anything to ink, so let's look for one. Okay. gonna move them kind of want to move the Merlin over hmm. would be dumb to punch with the Ursula because I really don't have any songs I might draw one though all right 
I'm just playing Cursed Merfolk. I'll probably have more options next turn. He has a Maui. He's behind on on ink though. Alright. Okay. So Merlin Rabbit gets a punch into the Rafiki. Would like to draw up a um friends on the on the other side. Um Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo might be good. So I will actually punch into this Rafiki here. And then I'll use twice. Hmm. I don't think I sing it with the Ursula. I think I just play it regularly. This 100% quest. I guess I ink this Merlin. Not yet. I can probably hold on to him. Genie is my most expensive card anyway. So if I want to play Genie next turn, you know I still can. I'll hold on to the Merlin for just for the um for the flexibility. There's Arthur. Definitely gonna bounce him back. He is behind on lore for an aggro deck. Oh, but he runs Lady Tremaine? This guy's deck is really weird. Okay. Um... How do I want to do this? So Merlin 100% punches the Maleficent here. I guess I do ink this uh, Chernobog's followers. And then bounce back the Arthur. And then I won't sing the Mother Knows Best just yet. Okay. So Merlin Crab should punch into the Chris Merfolk, I guess. So he's probably deciding on what he wants to discard. Oh, he discarded Arthur. Oh, he did it with the Maleficent. That's kind of weird. Alright. I guess I'll take it. Um, alright. Let's see. Do I make Genie punch? Maybe I make Ursula punch into the Maleficent and then just bounce her back. Hmm. And I just keep questing with Genie. Let's do that. Uh, replay her? Yeah, let's just replay the Ursula. Don't know if Madame Mim crashes into the Merlin rap, uh, Crab, though. Wouldn't be too bad. It denies him, like, making, like, funny trades or funny things with, like, bouncing him back. Yeah, sure. It's a trade down, but, um... But I'll take it. Lady 
Lady Tremaine. Alright. Let me take the Ursula. Okay, another mother knows best. We're just gonna race for now. If I want to next turn, I could, um... Oh, I guess I can't, so... We'll pick this Merlin. I was thinking of doing some shenanigans with uh, Mother Knows Best and the and the Merlin Goat. But for now we're just racing. Okay. Alright, we'll just play our remaining characters. Quest with Genie. Should be GG next turn if he doesn't have another Lady Tremaine or um or Madame Medusa. Madame Medusa would have been really powerful for him. Okay. Alright, looks like GG.